Welcome to Electron Line. Another strategy is to take the function that is in the frequency domain and write it as a sum of two or more fractions. This is a good example where we can do that. Also keeping in mind that if you have something that looks like this, then we can transfer that back to the original time domain, making it look like this. And if we have something like this, we can transfer it back or do the inverse Laplace transform and get it back to the time domain looking like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the denominator look like the denominator over there. And then we're going to separate this fraction into two separate fractions. So we can say that, that the inverse Laplace transform, or at least let me just start with the notation where we have the function in the s domain or the frequency domain is equal to s plus 1 divided by and the denominator we're going to write as s squared plus 6s plus 9 plus 36. Notice that 9 plus 36 gives us 45 again but then we can take the first three terms here and write as the square of a binomial. So this can now be written as s plus 1 divided by, this becomes s plus 3 quantity squared, that's this trinomial converted to the binomial squared, and plus 36 can be written as plus 6 squared. So now you can see that the numerator can be now be split into 2, s and 1, right over the same common denominator. So this can now be written as s divided by s plus 3 squared, plus 6 squared and let's see here well we also need it we need a s plus 3 so how about writing it like s plus 3 minus 2 how's that so what I want here is I want an s plus 3 and an s plus 3 so I can make it look like that and then I can separate it from the minus 2 so before I separate into two fractions I want to do that first just like that also notice that uh, plus 3 minus 2 gives us a plus 1 again. So now this can now be written as two separate fractions. s plus 3 divided by s plus 3 squared plus 6 squared. And then minus 2 divided by s plus 3 squared plus 6 squared. Now notice that the first fraction is in the exact form that we have over here, so we can translate it back into the time domain, making it look like that. But this is not quite the same yet, because we have a 6 squared in the denominator, and we have a 2 in the numerator. Hmm, so what can I do? Well, I can multiply that times 6 divided by 2, or 3 divided by 1. So I can multiply this by 3, and at the same time divide by 3, like this. So now you can see that 2 times 3 is 6. I now have this in the exact format that I have there. I still have a 1 third in front, but I can keep that and carry that over. Now we can take the inverse transfer of that. So the inverse transfer, Laplace transfer of the function f of s, is equal to the inverse transfer of these two fractions now. So we have s plus 3 divided by s plus 3 squared plus 6 squared, and then minus 1 third times 6 divided by s plus 3 squared plus 6 squared. And now I'm ready to take the inverse Laplace transform. On the first one, this simply becomes, as you can see there, e to the minus 3t times the cosine of 6t, so this is e to the minus 8t times the cosine of omega t, minus one-third, because I can't forget about the one-third, times e to the minus 3t, just like before, we have a minus 3t coming from the plus 3 here, times the sine of 6t, the sine of omega t. And if you like, you can factor out an e to the minus 3t, so this can be written as e to the minus 3t times the cosine of 6t, minus one-third times the sine of 6t. So this is probably a little bit more compact form of the final answer. Again, what's important here is the strategy. You look at this and then you realize, well, I can make it look like this or like that. Matter of fact, we can separate the numerator into two, s and plus one, or before I do that, 
I make it look like this first, then I separate the numerators, and I can go ahead and find the inverse transform. So that's the strategy that works in this case.